If you want to buy a CCNA ebook from Cisco Press, always get the CCNA Library Premium Edition. In this video, I'll tell you why that is and why the practice exams that come with that product are such a great deal. One more thing before getting into the details. There are over 1,300 practice questions in the CCNA Library Premium Edition, so do you need to answer them all? Well, stick around to the end, and I'll give you my opinion about whether you do or not, and give you some other hints and tips on how to make the best use of this monster big practice exam bank. All right, let's get into it. So here are the covers of the three CCNA Premium Edition product options that you have. On the left, you see Volume 1 and Volume 2 Premium Editions, and on the right, the CCNA Library. And you'll see these covers on the web pages you might use to shop for and buy the products. Now, first off, the price is a lot cheaper if you buy the library versus both of the individual volumes. So you see the list price rounded to the nearest dollar is $65 each for Volume 1 and Volume 2. If you buy both of those, you get all the PDF and all the EPUB content for the eBooks. Now, you get the same EPUB and PDF content if you buy the library, but its list price is a lot cheaper combined. In fact, it's $40 difference in the price. All right, so for that reason alone, you might think, well, I'll just buy the library. And yeah, you should. But then you might think, am I missing anything buying the library? And it turns out, for all the other factors, you even get a better deal buying the library anyway. So again, buy the library. But here's the big thing you get buying the library that you don't get when buying the individual Volume 1 and Volume 2 Premium Edition products. On the left you see Timed Exam Volume 1 only. If you buy the Volume 1 Premium Edition, you can do a timed exam, but the exams only cover Volume 1 topics. And if you buy the Volume 2 Premium Edition, you can do a timed exam, but it's only on Volume 2 topics. Yep. So the only way you can get a timed exam for which the questions you see range across all of CCNA, just it turns out this way based on how the publisher packages up the questions and the exams, is you've got to buy the CCNA Premium Edition. The good news is it's a lot cheaper to do that anyway, so that's just where you want to be. So the massive and awesome practice exam feature of the new CCNA Library Premium Edition are these eight what we call CCNA Full Exams. So the name of the exam has this word full in it, and that's a reference to the idea that it covers the full breadth of topics in the exam. So what we do is we take all those available questions that we have, and we make these exams by mixing up the questions from Volume 1 and Volume 2, and we've got 95 to 100 questions in each of those exams. So then when you want to have a timed practice exam event, you just select one of the exams and choose the timed practice exam event option from the user interface, and you can go for it. So those are great features to have, but you can use them both in study mode and in timed exam mode. But let me give you a little bit of history, especially for those of you that may have had the previous edition. I'm recording this during the interim period between when Cisco announced in 2024 the version 1.1 blueprint, but they're still testing on the version 1.0 blueprint. So what you see now are the covers of the books, the edition one books that have been selling since the turn of 2020 up through 2024. And on the left is the cover for the retail edition, that is the print book. So with that book, you get two full exams. And that's great. You've got two exams set aside to where you could use those for a timed exam event. And that's great. And one of the inducements then to get you to buy the premium edition library during those years 2020 through 2024, as you see the cover on the right, was to say, hey, you get those same two CCNA full exams, but we'll include two more. So there were four CCNA full exams in this prior model. For the new editions that come out in 2024, which are second editions that have these new covers with the green part in the lower left that say second edition, the print book has four of these CCNA full exams. The premium edition has those same four exams, numbered one, two, three, and four, plus four additional ones numbered, you guessed it, five through eight. So the premium edition comes with these eight CCNA full exams. 
it can be a bit overwhelming in terms of how much you have available even if you go with the premium edition. So what do you do with them? So let's talk about that for just a moment here. First off, in the app itself, you can use what we call study mode or practice exam mode. In study mode, you answer a question. You can tell right away if you got the right answer or not. You can click the answer button and reveal the right and wrong answers, reveal an explanation, and so on. That's great for what we call gap analysis. And while the term may be unfamiliar, the idea is simple. Hey, I got a question wrong. Figure out why and learn what it is you didn't know that kept you from getting the answer right. And you filled in a gap in your knowledge. And basically you're filling in holes so that on exam day you're not missing a question and you're getting those points on the real exam. So that's a very important thing to do with practice questions. And then also there's a practice exam mode where basically, hey, you want to have a practice exam? You can pick how long to take, how many questions to have, and so on. So you can practice taking the real exam. Now we've got this, this set of eight exam banks, eight CCNA full exams. And if you like the idea of timed CCNA exams in the user interface, pick exam one, do a practice exam. The next time you do it, pick exam two, do a practice exam, and so on. And you could do that eight times before you could ever have to worry about seeing the same questions again. So it's probably more practice exams than you'd want to take, but it's available like that. But probably to be more productive for your learning, you're going to do some combination like this. Maybe you'll set aside three exams for study mode to just do gap analysis and fill in holes of your knowledge and then say set aside five exams for timed practice exam events. That may still seem like a lot of practice exams. So if that's what you're feeling like, hey, you know, set aside five exams to use in study mode, discover gaps, fill in those holes, and set aside three for timed practice exams. You can mix and match any way you want. I just remind you to make a note of which ones you've used in study mode, so avoid using those when you go to take a timed practice exam. Moving on from that, I want to talk to you about a great feature of the practice test engine when you have a premium edition product. So imagine you've got those eight CCNA full exams still, and here's a representation of the PDF that you get by owning the premium edition. All those questions and all those exams, they have a link to the part of the book that explains what the question's about. Yep. So of course, you might find that useful if you missed the question. So here's how to get to it, and then I'm gonna show you a demo of it. So imagine you're looking at the answer page for a question. So you answer a question in study mode, there's an answer button, you click answer, and you get a page, a web page in the user interface. And then there's a list of answers, and the correct answers are highlighted in yellow, by the way. And then there's a text explanation to tell you why the right answers are right and why the wrong answers are wrong. And then if that's not enough for you, if you have the premium edition product, you don't see this if you don't have the premium edition, but if you have the premium edition, you get the text of a heading from the book. Now it's not obvious it's a hyperlink, but it is a hyperlink. And if you just point down there and click, it opens the PDF to the heading in the book that tells you more about the topic. So of course, if you're thinking, hey, I still don't understand some of this, click the link and read more in the book. It's very handy. So let's take a look at a quick demo. So I've navigated to pearsontestprep.com and I'm logged in and I've reached a question and I'm in study mode as you see in the upper right there. And so here's a question and the details of the question don't really matter much, but I'm gonna purposefully pick a wrong answer here. I'm gonna pick the data link layer it happens to be incorrect and notice this answer button that's now highlighted at the bottom. It's enabled because I'm in study mode and I click and that opens things up. Now at the top, we've now got a yellow highlight showing me that the correct answer was the network layer. We see my answer, the one that's got the circle filled in, the data link layer, that's the incorrect one. And then we've got this explanation text in here that says more about why the right answers are right than the wrong answers are wrong. But kind of hidden out down here at the bottom is this little heading, which you may not even recognize as a heading, and that's what it is. It's enabled if I'm using a premium edition product. And then if I just click that, it opens up a new tab, downloads the PDF, and it opens up to the link 
that we authors set up to say, hey, this is the most relevant set of pages that have to do with that particular question. So that's just how to get to the PDF and learn more about the topic. Before we go, I wanted to make sure you knew about the other exams you get in the CCNA Library Premium Edition. You've got those eight CCNA full exams, plus you get two book exams and two part review exams. So what are those? Well, you might realize this already, but within the books themselves, there are chapter beginning quizzes. Do I know this already quizzes? And the publisher takes those and copies them into exams inside the testing product. So there's a book exam database for volume one, and there's a book exam database for volume two, and you get both of those with the CCNA Library Premium Edition. Also, the book is organized into parts with multiple chapters per part, and each part ends with a part review element in the book, and part of that says use the part review exam to find some questions in which you, with which you can uh, review the part. So there's a part review exam to support that. There's a part exam for volume one. There's a part exam for volume two. So if I back up to that earlier graphic, we've got the eight CCNA full exams, the volume one and volume two book question exams, and the volume one and volume two part review exams. And if you add up the number of questions in each of those, that's where we get up to over 1,300 questions combined in this product. Well, I posed the question up front, do you need to answer all 1,300 plus questions? And no, not as an objective. It's not some magic formula. If you answer all of these, you'll get a perfect score on the test or something. But they can be very useful. So, What's the best way to use these things? Well, first off, in my opinion, the number one use of any practice question is gap analysis. Use them in study mode, don't guess. When you miss something, dig in and figure it out. You're just picking up points on the test. You're finding things you didn't know before, which is hard to do, discovering those, and then figuring out what you didn't understand so that on test day, you'll get that kind of question right. So do that. Next up, Probably 80% of your points are going to come from multi-choice questions. Yeah, there are some lab questions, but it's not a bunch of them usually, and there are a few drag and drop. But honestly, you're going to see a lot of multi-choice. You should be great at multi-choice questions, so practice them. Think about how you answer. A lot of people get in a hurry. They don't read the whole question. Sometimes people practice with questions and say, oh, that was a tricky question. It's like, no, we'll slow down, read more carefully, Think a bit before you answer. Work on your process so you pass on your exam day. All right, take ownership for that. And be great at answering multi-choice questions. Third up, there is a huge benefit to practice exams. It's not so much the raw score you get in a practice exam, but it's hard to concentrate for a couple hours. Practice two-hour exam events. Practice your time management. Practice the process you think you'll use from when you leave wherever you normally are during a day till you get to the exam center and things like that uh, so that you'll be better prepared and pick up points just because you've got the process down. So those are a few extra tips on how to make best use of all these practice questions. Thanks for sticking around till the end. Please subscribe and click a bell and join in the channel. Engage. Let me know your thoughts. Give me a like and give me some comments. Let me know what else you'd like to see. I appreciate it. Thanks for hanging out, and I'll talk to you soon.